Alright guys, I finally did it. I went ahead and bought a graphics card off of Wish.com. This $50 graphics card is supposedly a GTX 960. I really, really doubt it. Uh, some telltale signs that this is obviously a fake out. Uh, or a scam on wish.com, which pretty much the whole website is, and I highly, highly suggest you stay away from that stupid website. Uh, but anyway, look, first thing here, we have the memory module soldered onto the back of the PCB, not something that's very typical, so this is obviously custom. We're also looking at a DVI port and a VGA port, which in the research I've done, I've never had a GTX 960, However, I did look up a lot of them online and neither of them that I could see from reputable brands like MSI and Gigabyte, EVGA, none of them that I could find had VGA ports on it. It's an outdated input, so another telltale sign. It does have HDMI, uh, no DisplayPort, which obviously if you're a gamer, you should be using DisplayPort. If you're not using DisplayPort, you're doing it wrong. But anyway, with the HDMI, I don't know which version it is, but it doesn't matter. This also doesn't have any PCI Express external power to it. Most GTX 960 cards did it have it. I haven't seen any that didn't. So another telltale sign that this is a fake card. And then looking at the heat sink here, there are no heat pipes whatsoever to disperse the heat. Just some very cheap aluminum that they, they cut in uh, over the top of a block very cheaply made, uh, probably a piece of trash. Everything I know about these cards, they're never what they say they are. So before I even put this into my computer, I wanna know what graphics card this is. So here I'm gonna go ahead and start taking apart the graphics card and uh, we're gonna find out which chip is on here and see what graphics card we actually have because I can guarantee you by the time I take this apart, this is not a GTX 960, despite it saying it right on the sticker there. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart. And we'll find out what exactly we're dealing with. All right guys, so obviously I've turned the graphics card down. We have the bare PCB. I've cleaned off all of the thermal paste on there, which was a very runny thermal paste, uh, very cheap quality thermal paste on it. Uh, but anyway, I was able to see the die. It is a NVIDIA graphics card. However, it is not a GTX 960. With a quick Google search, I was able to find out exactly what I thought it was, which is a GTX 550. This is pretty much what they're doing on wish.com. They're all, they tend to always be GTX 550 graphics cards that have been modded and had the BIOS changed to make them look out whatever, however they want them to be. Whether it be a GTX 1050 Ti, GTX 1060, whatever, these tend to be these cards and you, they're not just on wish.com. You can find these all over eBay. I've even found them from a local seller on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I've reported every single one that I ever seen. I encourage you guys to do so, especially if they're selling them as the 1050 Ti's they claim to be, etc. So definitely, definitely steer clear from this, but it's not even exactly a 550 because they definitely modded the PCB to look somewhat convincing enough to be a GTX 960. The GTX 550 is not the most powerful card in the world, obviously. The power delivery in this card is uh, definitely looking like they removed something or, I don't know, the, the amount of chokes and the, and the capacitors on here just seems like there's something missing on this graphics card PCB. I tried to look up some PCBs of 550s and GTX 960s. I, my search wasn't very definitive. All right, but with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put the take this card and put it back together. I'll put it in my test bench and see what happens, see if it even comes up as a, a GTX 960 four gigabyte. I'm sure it will, because they, they do change the BIOS so it looks like it is a 960, but you're never gonna be able to install any drivers. I'm not gonna show you how to fix it to, to where you can get this as a working graphics card because it's not gonna come working. But through some very extensive research and extensive work, 
David Does Tech did do a video where he was able to get this thing running and working. I'm not gonna do that in my video, so if that is something you're you're wanting to be able to do if you were duped into buying one of these pieces of shit, then definitely check out his video. I'll leave a link in my description as well as in the comments and as probably up here on the screen as well. David Does Tech is Probably one of the best YouTubers out there for in the tech industry, and I highly suggest you go check him out because he has a great sense of humor and has very interesting content. Let's go ahead and get this piece of shit back together, put it back into the computer, and see what's going on. Oh, and typically, as I'm putting the thermal paste on here, typically you should be spreading the paste on the die uh, when you are repasting your graphics card. I'm not doing it because I really just do not care at all about the well-being of this card. All right, so I did put the Wish.com graphics card in my test bench system with the i7-8700K on the ASUS Maximus 10 code Z370 motherboard in the Inwin Alice case. It, it came up and running. It does not fill the screen. It does not support a resolution of, of 1080p. And it, I was able to get GeForce Experience to somehow recognize it. And it did install some sort of driver. Uh, however, MSI Afterburner does not recognize that there is a graphics card in the computer at all. However, MSI Afterburner is able to measure frames per second in a game, and I am actually able to play some games on this computer. Somewhat playable. Uh, what I have here is just Geometry Wars 3. I'll show you that performance. I am actually playing at the video output that we're playing at is 1024 by 768, which was about the highest it could go. It could go actually up to 1024. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to stick to that, uh, which is the default, the graphics card, but there is no 1080p option with this graphics card. But we do have the very high settings, and it obviously does not fill the screen. I uh, was able to do a DX Diag run, and it, it says, note, uh, there is a problem with your GeForce GTX 960. Uh, please click for more information. Uh, so it's, there are parts of the computer that recognizes that there's a GeForce GTX 960 in there. But like I had told you before, it is because they altered the BIOS to make it think there's a GTX 960 when there actually isn't. But let's go ahead and get into the game. I'm just gonna show you uh, what type of performance you're gonna get in a very simple game like Geometry Wars. So let's see how this is. If you haven't ever played Geometry Wars, it's very simple, just top-down stick shooter best played with an Xbox controller and I, it's been a while and I'm just not doing very well with the Geometry Wars but definitely a fun game just to pass time and then you can really kill a lot of time this game is very addicting and a lot of fun so definitely definitely check it out if you are looking for a cheap game on Steam that's uh, good at passing the time just one of those arcade type of games where you're always trying to work for a high score. Um, but it, it definitely is difficult, especially in this one. I played a lot of the earlier ones. This one with the 3D uh, globe that you have to mount is definitely, definitely much more difficult to try and do. Anyway, we got around the 30 FPS on very high. I was getting in the 50s on uh, lower settings. I just turned up to very high for this part of it. But that's what we're gonna, we're just gonna end that part of this here. All right, here is the DX Diag Diagnostic Tool here. And you can see that it says that there is a problem with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 device. So it does seem to think that there is one, but overall this graphics card from Wish.com is something you really need to stay away from. Anything off of Wish.com, I highly, highly suggest you do not give them your money. Uh, it's also very shady. You don't feel safe when you are using your credit card on their website. Do yourself a favor and just don't, don't, don't get it. But with all of that being said, after I ripped myself off, I knew what I was getting and what I was getting myself into. I did attempt to try and see what their returns policy was like. 
and it's not very consumer friendly. You do have to call in order to place a return and it does specifically say that uh, they don't have to pay for the return. Uh, so I don't think in this case or scenario they're gonna they're going to pay for my return. Maybe if it was the wrong item, I guess I could claim that it was the wrong item, but definitely something a scam that you need to stay away from. And I'm I'm pretty sure pretty much everything else on that website is probably a scam as well. Now I did also get a CPU cooler from the website. It doesn't seem very like it's going to be very good. It's about I think it was like a twelve. $14 CPU cooler. Uh, we're going to hook that up to a computer later on in a different video and uh, and see how this compares to a budget CPU cooler that you can get off of Amazon from a more reputable brand like Deepcool. Stay tuned to see how that is. But that is going to be it for the Wish.com graphics card. I do want to do something very special in another video of uh, just getting rid of this card. Uh, I think I want to blow it up. Or shoot it but if you have a creative ideas on how to dispose of this piece of crap leave those down in the comments just remember youtube is watching so be pc all right guys well that's going to be it for this video i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video